morning. Today we're playing trains. So, first got trains. There we go. First got trains in 2004. In a box. Look at that. Actual box. Then came 2006. This one's got a monster manual and a heap of discs. Then 2009. And then I kind of dropped trains because it... Uh, that wasn't as fun, I guess, as some of the other offerings. So it's overcast and warm up there. It's a, a beautiful sunny morning in Melbourne this morning, currently six degrees Celsius. And I spent the last two days on real trains up at Puffing Billy, which has been very, very happy. We've come out of lockdown version four, and that's been quite excellent. Uh, so trains popped up in the steam sale about a month ago, and I thought, ah, well, I'll give it another try because I think it only cost me about 20 bucks, so it wasn't a big deal. But my first surprise was when I looked at purchase stuffed, and lots of things came with it, but I used to have payware in trains, and it's the same login to trains site. Um, it still works, but my payware is not there anymore. That's a bit sad. So, We've been known to, to hang it on Dovetail, for example, for uh, taking a long time to bring over the preserved collection. But at least they do. So, oh well. But anyway, we're going to be driving along two trains today. We've got a D4D, which is this red thing you can see here. And we're going to be on the Hillsville line, which runs from Moorlbach to Hillsville in Victoria. Uh this line still exists, but is incomplete. So at the Hillsville end, they've almost got track all the way from Hillsville to Yarra Glen. So we'll see that segment of the line, but the rest of it, the track's um, either gone, or, <coughs> excuse me, it's either gone or in significant disrepair. So not drivable currently. So let's jump into our sessions. We're going to run one from the payware manufacturer and we're going to run one that I've put together. So we are first up running the Downhillsville Mixed. So I'll start that off. Sorry about the piano music, by the way, that uh, trains. I don't know why they think that's a great idea, but it plays incessantly, except when you're in the game. So apparently we're currently sitting at the top of the grade into Moorlbark with the goods portion of your train to Hillsville. You'll be shunting or stopping at all stations except Tarawara. Tarawara these days is a winery. Dropping off wagons at the towns along the line. Fair enough then. So this is our loco, the D4D. They're a strange little beast. They're relatively powerful. Actually, look at that. It's a DD. So it's not just a D4D, it's a DD. Anyway, there's our train up there. So let's see if I can uh, have a look at the actual train before we go for a cruise. So in theory, we can now walk along our train. That oh, seems to work. Ooh, mouse is a bit twitchy. We've got a little eye open wagon there. This is the age of the four-wheel trucks, obviously. That's uh, cattle or sheep. The M's. And these exist on um, Puffing Billy too, interestingly enough, but on ours they're on bogies, but they're all they're very similar. So another I, another I. This is a, a U van. So the white ones, I believe, were um, not refrigerated, but cool. More I's, more I trucks, nicely tarped. In this age, in the railways, people would have actually taken care of the tarps, so they probably weren't that good. More U's, some more I's. Remarkably fresh-looking treated pine fence back there. This is a Q wagon. I'd be curious why there'd be a Q wagon going to Hillsville, but anyway. Another Q wagon. I'll have to look them up, because I thought the Q's were for transferring narrow-gauge rolling stock. Anyway, there happens to be one at the Puffing Billy Museum, although I think it might be a QQ, so maybe it's a special purpose one. 
Now we've got some more eyes. Eyes are just general goods trucks. They could be used for wheat or coal or whatever. And a Z guards van with smashed windows. Isn't that sad? I built one of these as a, uh, a model once and that three truck design on the tight curves of my model railway, let's just say it became a shelf model. It was either that or grind the flanges off the, the center wheel set. But anyway, let's go back down to our train. And we currently have 80% of our water capacity on board. We've got a boiler pressure of 170. We need to try and maintain that. We're not having any draw force at all right now, so surprise it says 321 pounds. That's our main reservoir pressure, so that's brakes, brake cylinder pressure. So the brakes are on, there's 61 pounds in the brake cylinder, and the train pipe pressure, which is just about nothing. Uh, you can kind of drive this with the rail driver to some extent. So things like the reverser work quite nicely. The brake works, so we can release the brakes. The throttle is either 50%, 0 or 100%, so we won't be using the throttle. I have to juggle the uh, water and coal today. So let's start putting in some coal. We're sitting on 80%. We're going to start using water straight away. So why can't I hear the game? You guys probably can't hear the game either, I don't think, can you? Hmm. We could hear its intro. Oh, maybe because of that. Aha! Game sound, yay! And it's raining. All right, so we have to proceed towards Lilydale in 0.36 miles. So let's start off our throttle, be a bit gentle with it. Thunderstorm even. All right, now we can get cracking. start bringing our reverser back now that we're picking up speed we are going downhill so i can throttle off again now keep it just open that'll do Our little train cruising along, complete with a tail disc on the back. Good to see. This area really doesn't look much like this anymore. All right, we're starting to head uphill now. Give it a bit more throttle. A bit more coal too. I'm about to crest the hill into Lidl. I actually quite like the HUD with the uh, gradients. It does make it a little bit easier to drive. We're coming over the crest. So I'll drop our coal back and drop our water back as well. The white cross on the left is a whistleboard. And it's for that crossing at the bottom of the hill, which is the uh, main road. Almost at Moorlbark Station. Signal's not in use. Let's get some brake action happening because we're just about in the station. Actually, it wants me to drive to Lurdale. I don't need to stop here. I wasn't reading the directions. Silly me. So we're going to start going uphill again now. It's interesting that we went through those gates. Let's 
start shoveling some coal and putting in some water since we're using steam again. So our boiler pressure is uh, fairly consistent at the moment. We've got to try and keep that. Water's going down a bit, so a bit more coal, a bit more water. Our little engine's working pretty hard now. We're still, uh, we're sort of keeping up with the water, but not quite. Boiler pressure's certainly dropping a little bit now. So as we're working hard going up this hill, it's a fairly long hill. Bit more water, bit more coal. I'll leave the other settings where they are for the moment. We'll probably need some more throttle as we get into the steeper parts. We're keeping up on the boiler pressure now, which is good. The rain seems overly loud to me. And the modelling of the, the land seems to be interesting. So there are actually active scenes. We notice off on our right here. Let's go, whoops. That didn't do what I thought it would do. Ah, what are we doing over there? Oh, well. <laughs> What I wanted to show you is it was someone actually hanging up washing. Now that that I thought's quite nice. That's a, a good change on the activities you see around the other railways. There's some sheep off to our left there. Still climbing this grade, losing speed pretty badly. So I think we're going to need some more throttle. More coal and more water. Because we're going through the water pretty hard. We're down to 56% in the border in the boiler now. Boiler pressure's dropping quite a bit. Still maintaining our speed. It's 17 mile an hour, that'll do. Still using more steam than we're making though. And we're use, using more water than we're putting in as well. But I don't want to push that too hard because we'll uh, have even less. So we've got the last climb into Leedale shortly and then we'll be able to have a little bit of a rest in Leedale Station. So we'll recover our steam pressure there and we'll recover our water there as well. They have done this fairly well. Driving steam actually is difficult. I'm going to have to put the water up or we're going to be way too low and it'll blow up. We are going to get over the hill, I think. And then we'll be able to recover. So this loco's barely got the power it needs for this job, which is why it's a bit of a challenge. Oh, our water's getting seriously low. And so is our boiler pressure. Down to a, almost down to 100 pounds now. But we're almost at the top of the hill as well. Now, if this was a real train, I would actually stop just over the top of the hill to recover the water level. So we don't blow our boiler up. But this isn't a real train and they don't blow up, so I won't.
So we have crested the grade. Good o. So while the train comes over the top, I'll start reducing the throttle. So the train's definitely started on the downhill slope now with the heavy bit, which is the engine. So let's take our steam usage back to almost nothing and let's get the blower going. So you can see our water level's starting to recover now. Our boiler pressure's still horrible, but it's starting to come up. So pushing all this cold water into the boiler should actually be making the boiler pressure worse, but no, it seems to be recovering. Heading downhill into modern day Lidl, this would all be covered in houses here. start our braking. We've got a green signal up here. And the signal even changes to red. Oh, that's nice. Nice semaphore action. Breaking now for the final bit of coming into Ludo. Now, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be able to open these gates or not. Doesn't look like there's any way to do it. Manual control is disabled for this. No, nope. all right. So we'll just drive through the gates then. Our water's coming up pretty nicely, so we can bring that down now. Straight through the gates, crunch, crunch, crunch. Uh-oh. Oh, I think we just went down the wrong track. That's a bit of a bummer. You going to stop, train? Hopefully you are. Because... Somehow we went down the wrong track then. I might have accidentally clicked on a junction when we, uh, when I was clicking around for the gates before. We'll just ignore that I'm going through a red signal. I don't know what that big factory was, but that's not there at Leardale anymore. These yards are now a car park. And back through the closed gates.
Just trying to see if that's changed or not. I guess it has. All right, back in we go to forwards. Let's see where our little train goes this time. Because I think we're meant to go up there. And you can't tell from their uh, trackage which way the points are actually set half the time. Yep, we're going straight this time. That's better. Now we're on the right track. So the graphics are fairly nice in this. Not photographic by any means, but the track looks like track. The signals look like signals. This box is gone, the water tank's gone. And you can see in the box. That's a nice touch. in our first objective so we have to shunt our train including shunting some wagons to and from the cave hill quarry which i think was back behind us your departure time from Louisdale after all the shunting will be well two o'clock two ten you must have your train fully docked into the platform before then all right Now, I didn't quite see what that said. So it said BG2 is being decoupled from the U-Burn pull away to... It'd be nice to be able to see the rest of the message, wouldn't it? All right. So it's not actually under our control at the moment anyway. So whatever is happening is happening. And we'll get our controls back shortly, I hope. This is one of those delays in a game that it's representing reality, but it feels awfully long. So it looks like it's telling me it wants to shunt forward, but I don't have any controls at the moment. Unless I can take them back. Aha! All right, then. I'm not sure if I'm meant to be able to take them back, but we'll see, won't we? Yeah, there was some uncoupling happening back there. So we're supposed to go up to there, okay. We're going to be running a mixed train, so I assume we're picking up some of this stock at some point. Mm -hmm. 
There's another one of our little locos over there. It's a little tank loco, that one. Going hard at it. Okay, so we have to set back. We're going to stop with the back of our train back there. So, reverser, brakes off. So that guy just spattered, <laughs> according to what popped up down here. Unless, unless I'm a dare. Maybe I'm a dare. Maybe I was the naughty one. But I'm only doing what I'm told. I'm only following orders, sir. Train sort of still reminds me of a train set. So it's similar to uh, MSTS and Train Simulator. Almost there. Although it reckons half a mile. I doubt that. Oh no, it's 0 0.04. My bad. Uh, are we going to roll there? Okay, what does it want us to do now? Ah, BG1 is being decoupled. Good, eh? And it wants me to shunt forward and go back to where we were. Okay. I need my controls back for that, though. Broiler pressure is recovering nicely now. On my first practice run of this, I um, failed dismally. My loco died. So let's hope it goes better today. can stop now, honest. And it wants us to shunt back. I'm using an amazing amount of water for a train that's doing pretty much nothing. Looks like we're going back to the train we brought in at the moment.
Just reduced our coal usage a little. No, we're not going back to our train. We're on another track. We'll have to pick up something else. There's no independent brake on this thing, which is sad, because, you know, local only. Have I not coupled to them? It sort of thinks not. Can't couple much more than that. Shunt to Cave Hill Quarry. I think that was up behind us. Let's just have a look at the map. If I can remember how to do that. Map. Okay, so we are in Lido. And... That's the way to cold stream. So yeah, Cave Hill's up back up behind us, back up here somewhere. All right, cool. Let's go back to our chase camera. So in theory, we're just going to shunt back out that way. Good. Day. Sounds like a plan. Hopefully I don't hit this guy. Well, that's not going anywhere useful, that's going into a siding. Am I meant to do my own points now? Make up your mind, game. Which do you want? Are you going to control them or am I going to control them? Back into forwards. Those ones are set okay. Maybe I was meant to wait. Which way is this junction set? Yeah, I think maybe I was just supposed to wait then and I went a bit early. All right, let's just try again, because I can't see anything that really needs changing. Uh, which one's walk? Blah.
Nah, this is too painful. We're just going to try it. Alright. Back we go again. Whoops. You know, the right way would help, wouldn't it? <laughs> oh, I'm doing great. Doing great. You can stop now, train. Alright, back we go. This time for sure, Ali. I have actually got a green signal this time, so... Hopefully, I just went a bit early before. We'll see where that carriage goes. Is it turning? Yes, it is. Yay! All right, good stuff. Makes me feel better that the other train went through these gates too. We're pushing up a fairly steep hill, so I'm going to leave the reversal where it is. Bring my water back down a bit. Should our pressure be? So we can go up to 200 on this one. What a view they had in the steam days, huh? Do these keys work? No. I'm going to have to start on a hill. After manually changing points would be my bet. Now, does it want the front of my train stopped there or the back? Let's assume it's the back. Okay, those points have just changed, but the gate hasn't. All right, off we go again. This will be fun, starting on a hill in the rain. Let's dump some sand. Let's give it a crack. Building up our steam chest pressure nicely, that's this one. A bit more. So it's a bit more interactive than it used to be, at least in a scenario. <laughs> I 
<laughs> I just read your chat comment, Michael. Uh, yeah, I did. I was pushing tons of it into the boiler, but I ran out in the tender and I didn't notice. And I passed the only place I could get water. I had often wondered if Cave Hill and Lilydale was literally named, and I guess it could be. If there's a limestone quarry here, there may be caves. What's the bet we have to pick these ones up and take them away too? A bit early, I think. Yep. Brake cylinders dropping. Train pipes going back up. That'll do. Now, does it want me to uncouple or what? What does it want me to do? I don't know. It's... We don't have... I don't know. I need to cut decoupling from the train. Yep, that's fine. It keeps saying BG, but it's not. They're I-Wagons. That's why it's confusing me. Real controls, thank you. Back into forwards. And we have to pull away. Train pipes pumping back up. So where does it want me to go now? All the way up there. Its instruction mechanic is a little bit confusing. Thought so. We're going to go and pick up those now. Are you guessing that I haven't actually played this scenario before? Because you'd be right. One thing they don't tell you about driving a steam locomotive is that you never completely shut the regulator. Because if you do, and you're moving, your motions in your cylinders aren't getting oil anymore. They've modelled the uh, pressure relief valves fairly nicely. 
So when the loco's not working, they open up. And they basically let steam through to keep the cylinders warm. But when you work hard, they shut. I'll show you what I mean when I pull away in a moment. Nearly there. And clonk. Looks pretty coupled to me. Certainly looks coupled. This is where I made their directions are a bit weird. Am I supposed to give them a shove or am I supposed to wait? All right, let's try and give them a shove and see what happens. Yeah, so I had to give him a shove. Okay. I do appear to have new directions now. I'm going to just go out there past the yard now. Back into forward. Oh, I promised I was going to show you what these things do. So you can see these valves are both blowing some steam. When I start moving off, they should blow a lot and then stop. Yeah, like that. So where are we going? We're going out past the gate this time. I guess we have to change the points back. Or our guard will. This is where you'd crank up your steam-powered radio and ask for permission to come back onto the main line. Because I don't think this is protected by any signals in that direction. Maybe we're picking that up too, because we're not going far enough to keep going. I've got my water. I've got too much water. You can stop now, train. Honest. Yeah, we're going back to get that one. Train pipe going up, brake cylinder pressure going down. The joys of Westinghouse brakes. The world is backwards. I had an enjoyable last couple of days out playing on the real trains. I was second person on a uh, diesel works train on the Puffing Billy Railway on Friday. We're going out to clean up storm damage. We got heaps done. And I did choose while we were stopped to jump out of the loco and help with the cleanup activities because it's just the right thing to do rather than sitting up in the tin shed on wheels.
And on Saturday, I did a track patrol from Belgrave to Emerald. So trains are only running to the uh, near enough to the halfway point on the line currently. And that's partly due to some work we've got going on with some new buildings at Lakeside, which is the next motor station down. And partly because of the storm damage that still hasn't cleaned up completely heading out towards Gembrook yet. All things come in time. Pulling forward again. And I don't know if you noticed my water, I let it get rather high. Heading out onto the main line again. So the little signals here are point indicators. They're not a proceed indicator to go out in the main line at all. So since we've got all the carriages that are in there except the ones we brought, I'm guessing we're stopping so that our guard can change those points. It looks like we'll be stopping clear of them, so. Let's watch while he does it. Yep, he's done it. Cool. So we've got a green to come into Leardale again, but I don't think it's told me to actually do that just yet. Nope. Return to Leardale, okay. Return to Leardale, then shunt back onto your train, drive the loaded wagons to Leardale and leave them in three road. Shunt onto the goods section of your train. Okay. Who knew you could click on that and get more information? Not me. do it for time. We're meant to be in the platform by now. So we're a little bit late. Don't want to get too carried away though. Because I think yeah, we're coming into a 10 limit It's a pretty fast clock in this thing because we haven't been in Lidl for an hour. Thank you. 
Didn't quite make it. So that should have us disconnected now, I think. Yep. Gonna want to go over there soon. Cruising along happily on this very rainy day. Now we have to go back onto our cars. I assume we're going to draw him forward and put it in the platform now. And then we'll go get our other cars. Or carriages as they would be. Depending on where you come from in the world, they could even be wagons. Brakes are so slow to react on this. I think my carriages are in the platform. Someone else has kindly put them there. Doesn't think I've coupled, so I'll give them a shove. Come on, recognize it. All right. Now what does it want me to do? I'm just waiting now. I haven't seen any directions yet. 
I said, I don't think. No. What do you want me to do, game? Go that way. Okay. Got a rough handling warning because I was uh, applying a bit of oomph before the brakes had released. Surprised it wants a van in the middle of the consist. It's got another one on the end, but that's weird. I would have thought we'd leave one here. The van I'm talking about is the guard's van on the back. We're going to end up with two of them in the train, which to me is unusual. Moving ahead until we're clear of these points, I would be betting. So that we can go back into the platform. More carriages with broken windows. They must know it's Luda. And we'll be getting out of here and heading for Hillsville very shortly. With the amount of time we're taking, that may mean that we'll be leaving the run back for another stream, because uh, we'll be going a fair while by then. Almost there. Is it going to make it by itself? So I'm guessing those points down there somewhere will change. Couple to the passenger cars. All right, brakes off. Reverse back to reverse again. Full reverse. And back we go. to watch the speed a bit here because you don't want to jostle your passenger cars. I wish there was an easy way to see from the other end of the train without having to walk down there. There is the um, navigation mode you can do, but it's bloody twitchy. Because you basically click something and then it takes you there whoop, like that. See? Twitchy. Hopefully I'm allowed to push my passenger cars back and take some water. Because by now it's probably going to need some. I 
You thought it was fun getting up the hill before. Almost there. Yep, so we are going to be pushing back, which is good. And I definitely do need water. I reckon I'm going to push the back of that train through that red signal up there. Bit more. Bit more to be under the water crane. Nearly there. That should work. Ooh, why are we rolling forwards? I'm not doing that. Uh, I'm not doing this. What is going on? Um, weird. Okay. I don't understand that at all. Well, now I'm allowed to drive again. Okay. Well, wasn't that fun? Look how much steam it used. Won't let me look at the tender. Our newly giant train is coming with us. It's over there somewhere. Yeah, you're right, Michael. G'day, Travis. How are you? We are currently leaving Leadale towards Hillsville. We've just um, done a lot of shunting, and I've just run through a road crossing without whistling. We're currently on our way to Coldstream, home of the Coldstream Brewery.
Oh. Using water rather quickly, too. The way the scenery is modeled, it looks like we're going downhill, but apparently, uphill rather, but apparently we are actually going downhill. There's an incredibly thick barbed wire fence. That's about as thick as your arm. I would dispute these little cotton ball puffballs of steam, but I have actually seen that happen at Puffing Billy, so, you know, maybe it's real. Just going to let that water build back up to 80%. Slowed down nicely for the corner. Approaching our first stop, I assume I need to stop with the uh, passenger carriages in the platform. You can see the station up here. I don't mind the modelling on their gum trees. The general shape's quite nice. The leaves are a little big, I think, compared to the train. Too early. Too early.
Well, the passengers should be able to get on and off now. Yep. It's interesting that it shows this wagon's full. <laughs> There's obviously nothing on it. I'm not doing that, by the way. Just waiting for our right of way from our guard down the back there somewhere. Oh, apparently we're doing some more shunting here. waiting for instructions yeah it should be about that time frame Travis about 1913 and yes definitely much in the past sorry I wasn't uh, paying attention to the chat then uh, still waiting for some instructions standard railways hurry up and wait Oh, the stop thing's disappeared. Maybe I'm allowed to move now. Let's try. Oh no, I've still got a stop thing down here. Oh, okay. You know what's funny? That car is actually there today. You can walk along the rail trail here. Yep, going a bit far. That's okay. Oi. Oh, yeah. I pushed the wrong lever, honest. Now I'm going to have to go back. Come on, put the brakes on. Whoops. Yeah, it is a livestock wrap there. Oh, still recognised it. I'm happy. Three whistles to go backwards. Nice railway gate over there. Got to watch out for those fast moving cars in this time frame. That abandoned car does look a little modern. Looks like we're coupling up to those cars if we have to stop our loco there.
or not. Oh, I'd even put a tail disc on us when we're by ourselves. How cute's that? Yeah, I'm not sure, Travis. I mean, the root description for this actually does describe this as 1913 to 1930s Hillsville line. In what I was going to run as the second part of this stream, but since this is taking so long, I probably won't run the second part. I'll do that in another day. I'm actually going to run a loco from the 50s. A giant R-Class. Straight out into the road. Bad driver. And back onto our train. Should rate for the right away from our guard, I suppose. It says people getting in and out still. They don't walk around or anything, but they just appear and disappear. Should get a green flag soon. And we go that way. There we go, green flag. Off to Yering. Second tip from the guard. For those unfamiliar, the Victorian Railways guards give two tips. One to depart and then another one to let you know that they are coming along for the ride. The area we're driving through is called the Arabelli. It's a very fertile growing area of Melbourne, but it's uh, largely used pastorally still. 
There's not that much food growing here, which is bizarre because it's actually a big floodplain. Just bring our reverser down to conserve some steam. On our way to Yering. Boiler pressure's a little low. Put on some blower. Some more cows off on our right hand side here. No, Travis, this is the other side of the city, so it's um, between the Dandenong Ranges and the Great Dividing Range. What Travis asked, if you hadn't seen the chat, is, is Tullamarine near this? Tullamarine's where Melbourne's main airport is. And it is also on a great big flat plain, but it's quite high, so it uh, doesn't flood. This is one of the large wineries that is still there today. It would have been fairly well established then. Most of these wineries are pretty old, by Australian terms anyway. No one else would think it was old. Not going to bother accelerating too much of this hill because we're going to have to stop soon anyway. You can see the station up there in the distance. We're not too far away from the um, massive trestle bridge. It's not very high, but it's one of the longest in Victoria. Not, I don't think it's the longest, but one of the longest. Oh, I definitely do have cows near the airport. Lots of rocks, too. This automatically changing camera angles is a bit infuriating. It makes it a little bit hard to judge what you're doing. Will it make it? Looking promising. Yes. Yeah, what are we going to shunt here, do you reckon? There's some people waiting to get on. Passenger carriage is just in the platform by the look of it. Waiting instructions again. I just saw the doors on that side of the van open. Yeah, we are decoupling, so we'll be driving on. 
and I get my controls back. Three whistles to go back. A question for Michael while I think about it. Was there supposed to be a live stream for Cane Creek on Friday from Dovetail? I kind of thought I saw one in the list and heard them mention one and then suddenly it didn't happen. I don't know if I was dreaming it or if it was meant to be next week. You can stop now. Honest. There's no way to brakes would apply that slowly on a train with one carriage in it. Waiting for our instructions. And I can pull away, apparently. Wish it wouldn't keep taking my controls away. So I wasn't dreaming it. That's good. I was wondering about that. I've actually got Cane Creek down on my um, stream for next week, but that's basically a guess on the release date. So we'll see, I guess. It hasn't gone up for pre-sales yet. At least it hadn't when I looked last night at about 10 o'clock. I'm still not actually sure whether I want it or not, but, you know. My fear is that uh, it'll be long runs of nothing. They've modelled the chuff sounds quite nicely on this one and the air compressor panting's quite nice too. July 8th, 15th. Hmm. Yeah, normally when they put it in upcoming, that means it's two weeks away. So, uh, that's okay. On July the 4th, I'll be going all American because, you know, it's their day. So I'll have to organise something different for next week's stream then. Any requests? We could do the other half of this one, which is a, a fairly high-speed passenger run on this same line in the other direction. I think I might set that up, actually, if uh, unless someone's got any other ideas they'd like to have done. It's waiting for our guard to wave the green flag. 
And in this era, I can safely say he's green flag because there is no chance that any train crew were female in, in this era. Oh, you can go in the cab, Travis. It's just not very... There's not much you can do. Actually, you can do things. Okay. Oh, we have the right away from our guard. So let's... That's the regulator. That's the whistle. Well, did you hear that nice wheel slip then? Where's the brake handle if I'm going to do it this way? Try and drive this way for a little while, just for the difference. Too much spankage, according to the rough handling indicator there. And I'll let my water get too high again. I'm not sure if when I'm in here I actually have to do things like open the firebox myself. We'll just have to hope the automatic cola keeps up with that. There's so much water in the glass that I can't even see it. Cruising off downhill towards Yarra Glen. We've got some slow corners coming up. Better do something about them. Right, going into this 20 corner, not too bad actually. No, I want to release it all the way. Oh, I have. It's all right. comes the giant trestle bridge. I'll pop back outside again for this. But it's massive. Good thing it's largely flat to Yarra Glen because I've put so much water in the boiler it's not likely we're going to build up pressure very much. After Yarra Glen, we've got... Uh... In fact, I think Yarra Glen is the last stop before Hillsville. There's one other station that we don't stop at, if I remember the scenario directions correctly.
be a sad driver looking at that. That's where the fireman gets it in the back of the head with the shovel. It is certainly a big bridge. And this area here, I think it's actually in flood at the moment. There's some wheels not going around there. Some of them are, some of them aren't. Weird. There's the river. Fairly nicely done water. Not nearly as shitty as Dovetail's water. It's probably a bit clean, though. We're almost at Yarra Glen. In our time frame, this bridge isn't this long anymore. So that should go green as we approach it. There it goes. That's the uh, old, confusing and sad way of signalling things. The station looks much like it does today. This goods wet, van's gone, but the station's still there. Those dunny blocks are still there. I'm not sure about this little building. That would probably have been a lamp room. Actually, no, that would be the lamp room, that one. So I'm not sure what that one is. Yeah, we're going to break a bit too early. Main Street's not so far different as uh, it is today, up there. Although it's up a relatively steep hill, so it's not quite modelled right. Just waiting for some instructions again. You can see the passenger doors are opening and closing down there. Do we have to shunt anything here or not? So we've just had some flats decoupled and we have to move forward. Let's we'll get our controls back again. Let's see if I can do this one from inside the cab.
Maybe an emergency brake. I'm nowhere near the other side of it. <laughs> so much for doing it that way, we didn't make it. And I'm running out of coal. It is a very long trestle. I don't know if you noticed the warning that I'm running out of coal, so hopefully we'll get to Healsville. It's not very far. Waiting for some instructions. Pull away. Okay. You can stop now. In my practice run, I started dropping with the reverser because I've seen lots of steam drivers do that. The outcome was pretty funny. Kind of doing a Sam. Hey, look, our marker lights have changed. They're both white now. One of those was red before. wonder if it changed to two whites when we put passenger cars on. Lubly. Now we just wait for our right away. I've got plenty of coal. 
Oh, maybe it means coal in the firebox. Oh, yeah. So I'm obviously not doing that correctly. It's waiting for our right of way. Guard will be off guest begging with someone. There we go. Hope we get up the hill in Hillsville with uh, this boiler pressure. That's pretty low. Second tip. Yeah, we're off to Hillsville. We'll see if we make it up the hill with that boiler pressure. Well, I want to go to about 33. Yeah, we'll do. Drive from in the cab for a little while, just for Travis. We're coming up to the climb. About the crest of this hill, there's a tunnel. It's a laughingly called Long Tunnel. It's not very. And then it's a downhill drift into Hillsville. So as long as we can actually get up the hill with this boiler pressure, even though it's very low, we'll be okay into Hillsville. Actually, I lie, because we've got Tarawara first. So it's just, there's a hill, then Tarawara, then another hill. See how we go. Oil of pressure is almost down to 100 pounds. That's not good. It's 
So I'm going to have to use what's left to get up this hill. It's not a very long hill. See how we go. Might make it. I'll stop putting water in completely. That might help a little. Oh, she's slowing down. We'll just crawl along. I'm not putting any water in the boiler anymore. Our boiler pressure's down to 100. Try and get some blower action happening. <laughs> We've only got to make it over that tiny crest up there and we're good for a little while. It is hauling a pretty heavy train. Our fireman's a lazy bugger. He's just standing over there doing nothing. Letting the driver suffer. It's letting what little steam there is do more work. Nearly there. Is it going to make it? Going to be touch and go. Do I sound worried? close yeah, the engine's on the crest train's still coming up the hill engine's over boiler pressure's down to 90 that's very low still not putting any water in so that's coming down too And I don't dare up the coal level because I'll smother what I've got. Is there a blower control in here? Compressor. I think there'd be no valve for a blower. That's all injectors. It look like there is one. Ah, well. We're cruising downhill now, anyway. Let's just reduce that. We'll keep just enough going to get keep steam flowing through to help with the fire. Now, we don't have to stop at this station. Boiler pressure is starting to recover a little bit.
Still not giving it any water. It's quite deliberate. I don't know if it shows in the sight glasses or not. Yeah, it does. So, for it, we've got to keep it above there because that's the level of the crown sheet. But we can just let this keep dropping. Boiler's coming around a little bit. That's because I'm not using any steam, but I'm going to have to soon. And I've got a couple of climbs up into Hillsville. So we're there at the moment. And we need to get up here to Hillsville. Actually, no, Hillsville's this way. Sorry. Boiler's almost back to 100, so we're picking up. Let's give it a bit more coal and see how it goes. And hold off using steam as long as I can, even though we're slowing down. Just to try and help this recovery a bit more. Weirdly, giving it lots more coal seems to help, so let's keep doing that. That shouldn't work. We should just about put the fire out. Give it a little bit of regulator because I'm going to have to. Just to try and arrest the decline of speed. Boiler pressure is still coming up. It's a slow old run at the moment. I'll let the water get down to that stud before I add any more. Gonna have to start using some steam because we're starting to go uphill. I had the coal constantly firing. I wonder if you meant to drop it down to zero when it gets and when it gets a bit low you prop it back up again to a hundred for a little while and then drop it to zero again. I might try that offline, see if that helps before I do next week's stream, which I think is gonna be uh this same railway but with a different locomotive and a different train going in the other direction. Despite using steam, our boiler pressure is still recovering. But we've still got the big hill.
it's okay to let the water drop until we crest the big hill and then I've got to have more water so that we don't uncover the crown sheet because as the train goes this way, of course, the water stays level. So when you're like this or like this, it's all right because it's the back that needs all the water. But if you uncover the back of the boiler on top of the firebox, that's when they go bang. Rarely do they blow their fusible plugs and flood the fire with um, water from the boiler, but even that's bad. So we are getting up the hill. I'm confident to give it some more regulator now because we've built up some pressure. We're going to get over this little hill and then we've got a little bit more of a rest until the big hill. We might just make this. So I think I was misinterpreting the coal level. And how that was working. Because what I'm doing now certainly shouldn't work. Just piling coal in constantly just should not work at all. There's less water in the boiler now, so there's less to boil. That's helping, probably. Yeah, pressure's coming up quite nicely now. Give it a bit more. Got a road coming up. A little bit more to go before I start putting some more water in there. Oh, look at that out in that shed there. We get to see that again? Of course not. That was a modern car. <laughs> All right, better start putting some water in. Steam pressure's recovered quite nicely, so we're cruising along now. So we're up to 170 in the boiler. It's been quite a recovery, and we've got uh, our coal levels up nice and high. Water's still a bit of a worry, so better give that a bit more. Another road coming up. Some sheep out there. And there's the tunnel. So we actually do go uphill in the tunnel. So I'm trying something different with the coal. When it drops down to 90% of optimal, I'll push that back up to 100% of stoking again. Look, water of zero. I need water. I need water. I got no water in the sight glass. I really have no choice but to stop here until I can recover some water. Because if I don't and I crest that hill, she's going to go bang. And that'll be the end of the game.
So I should have water going in, but I don't see any sign of it. So we're only using the driver's injector. There we go. Got both injectors running now. I'm not sure the driver's one actually is running. All right. Coal levels dropped a bit, so let's ramp that up too. Breaks off and let's go. We're going backwards. Yeah, on train, you can stop now. It's got really hard brakes on. It's still sliding backwards with its wheels locked. That really shouldn't happen. Because the brakes don't seem to be on anything but the locomotive. Alright. Let's try and get some steam up. Steam chest got lots of pressure. Oh, I might have to roll back down the hill and try again. Kind of think that's what we'll do. I'll roll back down until the gradient eases off a little bit and then we'll um, give it another crack. Let's get back into the cab. Let's drop the flips. Drop his injector off. Drop his injector off. Come on. Let's try and give that another crack now. Will she go? Oh, promising. No. Nah. Running on banana peels. Sand's helping. Yes! Can we keep it up, though, as we go back onto the steep part? Doesn't feel like excessive acceleration to me. Feels like none. Go. 
Come on, you can do it. We are accelerating. So close. So close. I think since I fiddled with these that... Um, I'm going to have to take over doing it manually now. Come on. Because I've noticed it's just ignoring my water commands now. Because we're zero again. But we're going to keep going. Because I've got everything open, so we should be putting water in there. Yep, water's coming up. We're almost at the tunnel. Oh, we are so close. I think they're open. Yep, water's coming up. So they're open. And water's have appeared in the glass here. Can we give it some more push without wheel slip to get over the hill? Or should I just be happy with what we're doing? Whistle for the tunnel. It's a bit like that, Michael. <laughs> Got some water in the glass again. I think I figured out the cold controls. You actually are supposed to put it up to 100 and then drop it back down to zero again. I, I kind of get that now. And we're cresting the grade. Coming out of the tunnel into the cutting. turn you off there we go that way coming down the hill we've made it over the hill I am speeding at the moment and there's no point speeding up that much because there's a 30 mile curve down here and then there's track work just before the station too. So we've got a bit of brake action happening.
brakes off. And why aren't we blowing off the safeties if that's higher than the red line? Hmm. Are we blowing off safeties? Have a look. There we are, look. Excellent. Oh, that bridge is actually still there today. This part of the line is the bit that's open from the tunnel down into Hillsville. And they run a rail motor. They have got a steam engine, but they don't run it. I would have thought the cox down would have been the right way for those, not cox up, but cox up seems to be what's doing the job, so we'll stick with that. Not much, too much point building up too much speed now. We're going to make it. So I'm going to put in more water now because our uh, fire is actually too good now. Now I want to put in some cold water and calm it down. Might even open the open the firebox up. That'll help wreck the fire a bit. One percent's what I want. There we are. Uh, two. It'll do. So we're on the flat bit before Hillsville now. Almost in the 10 mile an hour section. Boiler pressure is coming back down, which is good. Actually, I noticed now that the smoke's quite different. So when I was piling the coal in before constantly, I always had black smoke. So if I chuck coal in now, does it blacken up? It's hard to say. Certainly not largely different. Maybe a little. that much open. There we go. I need to get to this. Oh, we're out of the 10 mile zone now. We can fang it. See out the window. Oop, it did go green.
Oh, you've come in to see a live one. Excellent. Oh, we could do another GWR. Why not? So we're almost at the end of this one. I don't know if we have to do any shunting or anything when we get here. We'll see. But we're almost in the station. With that last exciting little bit of uh, fun of almost running out of water and almost running out of steam. And I'm sure we can organise another GWR at some point. This fireman just stares at the driver constantly. There's a bit of a bad relationship going on in that cab. Oh, I like you like. Glad you like the probe joke. I braked a bit early. But I wanted to be a bit careful because there's buffers up there. Better early than not. This is Hillsville Station. It does look like that today. Except there's a massive loco shed over here. Oh, and this river down here is in flood at the moment too. Okay, is it going to make me shunt? That's the question. So we have arrived at Hillsville. Those valves I was talking about earlier that uh, keep the cylinders warm, almost stopped, have opened up. Uh, what's the game going to make me do? That's the question. Hopefully we get some more Easter eggs in the game. That would be good. Just waiting for instructions. Have we made it or do we shunt? This is the question. Yeah, I think YouTube does adjust for time zones in for the reminders and things. Still no game instructions. And it's telling me my water's low, but it's not really. We're in the hurry up and wait territory. Is, you know, pretty sure I have driven to Hillsville. Pretty sure we're there. Can't really go much further. Just in case it wants me to shunt on building the coal and water back up again. I'm going to try moving ahead a little bit. The marker did go off though, so... Hopefully it thinks I'm here. Alright, let's stop again there. 
and see what it thinks this time. You have moved your train before you've been given the right of way. <laughs> well, the funny thing is, now I have to move it backwards because I failed the points. See what the guard does about that. No, I mucked it up by moving forward because now I've found the points. So what I'll have to do... Oh, no. I want to push back. Because I'm going to have to. It's not going to let me. No chance. Ah, uh, well. All good. All right, we're going to bounce off the buffers. Ready for the bang? Bang. <laughs> ah, well, all good. Good spot to end it anyway. I did notice when I was um, looking at this before, there actually is another track over here that's narrow gauge. I don't remember them being one at Hillsville, but uh, could have been. Anyway, so what we have been playing is uh, driving a steam locomotive and trains 2019, as you can see there. Um, it was the DD locomotive from Moorabark through Lillydale, up through Coldstream. Yarra Glen, and finally to Hillsville, where I finally mucked it up. We had a pretty exciting uh, little trip up there as we started to run out of steam and water and fire all at the same time. Probably because I misinterpreted the controls. And that's okay. Apologies for the shitty piano music. So next, I was planning on running another session, which is the R-Class. So I won't actually run that now, but I'll just start it up so you can see it. Um, I was going to be running Cane Creek next week, but it looks like the release of that is somewhat delayed. So we will be back in force. Oops, I forgot we're in the session builder. Um, we will be back in force next week. We have got a R class, although that remarkably looks like it's at Lilydale, but I actually want it to be at Hillsville, so I'll have to run this session and save it again so that it ends up uh, being in Hillsville, and then we'll run back towards this direction from Hillsville with the R-Class in its train. Um, it's out of the time zone for this route, so the route's 1913 to 1930, and the R-Classes didn't appear until about 1954. They were some of the last... Actually, they might have been the last steam locomotives to come online in Victoria, uh, at the same time these were being introduced, we had the B-Class and S-Class diesels, which were, they're essentially the F7s, very similar to what you see on Clinchfield in TSW2, um, but they're a slightly different version, made for Australia. Now, the, the R-Class is an interesting one because it's essentially a Hudson design from the US, but they were made in England. So... Go figure. Australia steals the idea and then uh, has someone else build it. And they were the last ones. So we'll run that next week and we will have some fun. And then, uh... yeah, Sean, Michael mentioned about that before that apparently there were some bugs in Cane Creek. So that stream did not happen and that's delayed the release as well. So we'll just have to wait and see what happens. Uh, so next week will be the R-Class from Hillsville, not Cane Creek, because it's not releasing, so I can't play it. Hey, Roy. Um, the week after that will be... That's the 4th of July, so we'll um, do an All-American special. Uh, at the moment, I've scheduled all of that in TSW2, but I'll have a look at what else I've got in Train Simulator and Trains and um, maybe have a little bit of variety for that one. Uh, just a, a bunch of short things that together will make up the usual stream time. And the week after that, maybe then Cane Creek will be out and we'll be able to run that. So uh, if we're lucky, we'll uh, be able to do that. 
So yeah, good request. We could to there is some stuff around Sheffield available, so we could have a look at that. Anyway, it's been awesome having you guys around. I've got to actually uh, nick off and go across the other side of the city and have lunch with my relatives. So thank you very much for watching today. I hope you've enjoyed it. It's uh, been fun. It's uh, certainly nerve-wracking driving a steam engine. And uh, we will be back again next week. Hope to see you then. So thanks a lot. And in the meantime, please enjoy. And if you'd uh, like to, subscribe and uh, click that like thing. All right then. That brings us to a close for today. Thanks for watching the stream and I hope you enjoyed it. I welcome any and all feedback. Feel free to comment on the video. Constructive criticism is welcome, especially if I've got something wrong. I stream every Sunday morning starting at 8.30am, and I also do ad hoc streams from time to time during the week. Please subscribe, and click notify to avoid missing out. Subscribing helps me by helping me see what content is good, and how it helps the channel grow, or doesn't as the case may be. So a little bit of info about me. I drive train simulators, but unlike some, that isn't my only railway experience. Today I operate on a preserved railway doing track inspections and operating a second person on the footplate in trains. I've driven steam, diesel, sparks and trams from time to time across several rail networks. I understand how trains work and how complex train forces enforce certain train handling procedures, especially around acceleration and braking. Generally when I'm driving a simulator, I try to be prototypical. I don't have a lot of in-cab video because we cannot do it while moving but here's a short clip of me doing the cab half of a standing brake test to ensure continuity across the train. I build model trains in traditional means and have an OM30 logging railway and a Lego trains layout because I can. So yes, I'm not just a gunzel, I'm a proper train nut. Thanks for watching and see you next time.